Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to show you how to fix a dripping shower faucet. First I'll turn off my water main. First we need to take off the handle with a tiny Allen wrench. Next we can pull this collar straight off. Next we'll take off this plate with two screws. Next we need to take this ring off. It'll probably be tight enough that you'll need to use a wrench, but it'll also probably be so tight that if you just use one wrench and twist it this way, it won't come off, but it'll twist the pipes inside the wall, which you don't want. So what I'm going to do is use one wrench, this is a pipe wrench, to hold this piece firm while I loosen this with a pair of channel locks. This thing's not wanting to come off, so I'm going to try spraying some penetrating oil on this. Hopefully yours won't be this tight, but I actually had to go out and get a second pipe wrench. Okay, even with two pipe wrenches, I just can't get that ring off. It's been there for 15 years, and all the calcium and lime, I guess, is glued it on there. So it's not coming out, and we're going to have to deal with this the hard way. But first, let me show you how you would deal with it the easy way is most likely what's going to happen is yours will be more like this, which this is the same thing, only the pipes are buried behind the wall, so you're looking at this piece pulled out. And all you do is take that ring off. You see it should come off fairly easily like that if it's not glued on there. And then there's this cartridge, this plastic cartridge. You pull out and you go to the hardware store and buy another one of these. Take this with you and it's a complete replacement part. Buy another one. They're about, actually they're about $20 to $30 for one of these. And just shove it back in the same way. They're little notches so you, you can't really get it wrong. Just shove it back in there. Put your ring back on. And you know, put the whole thing back together like it was before we took it apart. And you're done. That's the easy way. I hope it works that way for you. If not, stay tuned. Okay, you're still here, so it looks like you've signed up for the hard way. And that is, we need to replace that entire unit with a new one here. The problem is, it's connected with the pipes behind that fiberglass shower, and we can't rip a hole in the fiberglass shower and make it look good when we're done. So we're going to have to do it from the back side through the drywall. So here we are in my daughter's closet. The control knob in the shower is about 14 inches over and about maybe 30 inches up. So the center should be right about here. We're going to use a drywall saw to cut through here and try to find the center and then cut a bigger hole around it so we can work. There it is right there. Okay, so this is roughly a 12 by 12 opening, and it's big enough that I can reach all the pipes to get to this thing and replace it. But this board right here is in the way. I'm going to have to take it out and put it back later. So I'm going to make a really wide hole. It goes from about here to here. And I bought an access panel like this at the hardware store. So there's the final hole and the access panel. This stud is square in the middle of my work area and it has a huge hole out of it already, so it's really not providing much support. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out for now and then put something back in when we're all done to support the wall. Now we'll take this cross member out, which thankfully is held in only by a couple of screws. The access panel frame doesn't quite fit flush against the wall because of the stud here, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off the plastic on the inside to make it fit. We want to completely remove this, so we need to cut off all the pipes. We're completely free except for this one pipe that goes down to the faucet, and I'm actually just going to reuse this pipe. So I need to unscrew the faucet from this side. Wow. 
undo this set screw and pull this off. And out it comes. So I'll save this plastic piece and then desolder this pipe. A lot of the heat is also being sapped off by this other copper, so I'm going to cut some of that off. I decided to cut everything off, so I only have to desolder that little ring. Now I need to sand that clean. So when you look at the bottom of this control, there's a little stamp right here that says up. So that's what goes up to the shower, meaning the faucet goes in the bottom part here and hot and cold are on the sides. So if I put that in there, luckily using that entire pipe and put it in this, we're looking at basically right at nine and a half inches still, so I don't have to modify the length of that pipe. So I want to solder in here, so I'll put some paste on the outside of this pipe, and actually maybe a little paste on the inside of this, and heat it up. So in goes the new one. I'm going to sand these off a little bit. I won't have to do any more soldering from here on out because I'm going to use these push-on connectors. So I'll screw a connector to each one of these and push these couplers onto each one of my pipes. These connectors come with little horseshoe shaped locking clips that go in like this. So to go from here to there I'm going to need a six inch piece of pipe. This plastic PEX pipe is really easy to work with and easy to cut. So I'm going to use it for that piece. I've got this special cutter. All you really need is a utility blade. And push it in. Now I'll shove the control in. I'm going to use red PEX piping for the hot side. This is really too sharp of a bend for PEX. So I've got extra tubing. I'm just going to go around and loop in like this. Now we'll turn on the water and do a leak test. No leaks. I forgot to put this piece in, so we'll slip that in from the back. Now I'll drill and screw in the access panel plate. Rather than put a vertical board back in and block the workspace, I'm just going to put in this board as a header so that it uses these two 2x4s to support this one. And hold that in with a few screws. And then as an extra measure of support for this guy, I'm going to put an angle bracket right here and then anchor these two together with a screw and nut. That about does it back here. Now I'm going to clean all the calcium off my metal parts with muriatic acid in an extremely well ventilated area. Good as new. Look at the difference. Now we button back up the front with this cover piece, screws, this collar and handle, the plastic piece down here, and then finally the faucet. No more drips, but who would have guessed this would have turned into such a big project? Thanks for watching.